Um, well, my name is Baron. I studied here for two years. I studied politics, economics, and psychology. I got uh, three A stars in my grades and successfully secured my place at Cambridge University. And I go into my second year doing human, social, and political sciences. Um, came back to see my teachers, tell them all about it, and I'll talk about more about my experience. The particular strengths of Barnes Catholic College as, as an educational institution is how much independence they grant to you, and that it particularly prepares you well for university. And looking through the prism of each of my subjects, how that benefited me with politics, it gave me that, uh, that ability to research and go out of my own way and to discover my political opinions and how they impact my studies. With psychology, there was that great element of, of, of studies and that quantitative element which helped me in my current studies. Uh, and with economics, it was, it was more so the mathematical aspect that we can't really find anywhere else that helped me with, with things like curating research or creating studies. My EPQ helped massively. I, the, 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 the techniques and elements I worked in my EPQ I did regularly at Cambridge. Everything from the research element to the curating element to the writing element. I would massively recommend all those who apply, especially to an essay subject at university, to do an EPQ. It, 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 there's obviously the aspect that it looks incredibly well on your CV and your personal statement, but also the aspect that it genuinely does help and it genuinely does you know, lead to positive impact on your studies. When that all came together, or looking at the overall aspect, there was the element that my teachers, that independence, there was that duality of like, you can reach far, you can go far, and you can apply to places like Cambridge, and you shouldn't be held back by things like that you, you're a state school, you know, they go to an FE, FE college. So I shadowed my local M MP, Bambo Shah Lambus, he's the MP for Enfield and Southgate, and I went to the Parliament with him and share, you know, um, shadowed in all his activities and met uh, loads of MPs, met loads of political figures. I was uh, luckily uh, there during the week of prerogation, so I saw everything from the prerogating incident to, to, Bambo, uh, to, to Boris Johnson's first address to Theresa May's last PMQs. I was lucky enough to be in the chamber itself and watch it firsthand. Uh, and, it, and it kind of gave me, uh, impacted me in two ways. Firstly, I just kind of saw uh, how Westminster worked and, and it kind of uh, solidified my interest and my want to work in that sort of environment in the future. So I would massively recommend all of those people to work hard to secure a workplace that not only uh, looks good on your personal statement, but you actually actively have an interest in. Studying at Sydney Sussex College, Cambridge, going there, there was two major worries. There was the academic aspect and the workload, and if I could keep up. And obviously there was the social aspect, being a working class lad from a, a, a you know, F state school, FE college, there was the element that oh, no, one's go I'm, no one of my culture is going to be there, or no, there won't be any peers I could relate to. But both, thankfully, have worked out really well. Uh, the academic aspect, the institution, the Barnes Southgate College, prepared me more than well enough. And now I keep on all my work and got a first in my first year, which I'm incredibly proud about. That's amazing. Uh, and the social aspect, uh, first of all, there's, there's, there's a grand mix of all types of uh, backgrounds and cultures and experiences. And even the ones that are maybe different to you, there's always that, still that element of you know, friendship and studentism that, you know, that we can all relate. And uh, personally, my friendship group is, you know, a very of all social classes, all backgrounds, and that social, those fears of being ostracised or not being accepted have been completely been washed away. Both the university and the people there uh, both work hard to make you feel accepted, to make you feel wanted, and for you, for you all find your own crowd. The university works very hard to, to ensure that, and so did the people there. How it's like being, for the, being back for the summer, there's obviously that weird dichotomy of being a working class lad and going to a place like Cambridge. And I think that dichotomy is most like, clearly shown between my two groups of friends, the, the friends I have at home and the friends I have at university. At first there was always like, there was, you know, there was you know, uh, murmurings that one might, one might be better than the other or I would dislike one and like the other. I think it's probably a bad perspective to look at it like that and also see them as different uh, avenues and different perspectives. And instead of you know, th accepting it or rejecting it, it's probably best to embrace it and see that you, know, you can exist in both spaces and both spaces have their uh, pros and cons. Personally, you know, being the first one to go to university in my immediate family, there's obviously there's always that fear that I wouldn't fit in with them or it would be different to them. But I think you know, understanding that uh, they're different spaces and embracing that you can live within both cultures and both environments really does help. So my advice overall would be don't be phased. You know, ultimately you're all human beings and you can all you know, live and exist within different spaces and it's best to embrace that. I think the idea that because you know, you go to an FE college or you're a state schooler that like, you know, things have been set in stone that you, you can only do X, Y, Z is completely false. I think, you know, ultimately uh, agency is really important and if you grasp the opportunities given in front of you, you know, have those high level discussions with your, with your uh, teacher, talk about applying to Oxbridge, 